Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. Hopefully the secrets in 1-8 won't be nearly as obscure as that hidden block covering, I should say, holding up a bouncy arrow thing of 1-7, but well, but well. Oh yeah, you can stand on these things. You can get on them at weird angles. They're a lot, they have a lot more traction than they look. <laughs> This is like your practice one before you go into some real stuff into the future here. So yeah, Salvo the Slimes Fortress, it's gonna be gonna be pretty easy for the most part if I recall correctly. It's just a matter of the boss. The boss, it kind of feels RNG-ish <laughs> because of the way that enemies spawn off of the boss's body, but I'll get into that when we actually get into said um, boss is... I need the camera to be like... I don't want my egg to go... Okay, I got it. I didn't want my camera... I mean, I didn't want the egg to despawn and not hit that... Hit that flower up there. Uh, actually, am I supposed to jump down to get that flower? Oh, I am. No, that, that explains a lot. And remember that for later. <laughs> I forgot that there's a little pathway up around there. Okay, so yeah, what you want to do is use this fish. And, uh, oops. Well, I didn't... Uh, oh wait, no, it's not the fish, excuse me, it's this duder here. Yeah, the, this duder here, this... Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, you want to get up to here first. And then you'll be able to get the flower up over here. Easy. <laughs> no problem. Now, for the other one, I think I could just hover jump all the way over to the other side. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> the hover jump is pretty versatile. Yeah, there we go. It's just, I think this is like a secret area, though, more than anything. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it kind of is, if you want to... Uh, stars. Ah! <laughs> so now I'm at 25. Yeah, the secret area is more for, like, the midpoint than anything, I guess, and for stars of sorts. So it's still good fun. <laughs> All right, going down, and... Yeah, the flowers, I mean, the flower, the fish's water doesn't hurt you or anything like that. And you, But you can use it as a boost to get up the places at certain points. Yeah, not not really not really the place that I was thinking of that you use fish to get up there. But that is okay. That's a shy guy pipe. Which means we've got to refill our resources. Actually, let's see if you can... Oh, you can't actually go down that one, okay. Yeah, as I said, only some of them you can go down, but not all of them. Nope. It's kind of tricky to get them when they're on the other side of the pipe because your tongue goes above the said pipe. You're supposed to do something like that. You're supposed to like lash out your tongue as you're moving downward so that your tongue lashes into them and then it pulls it through the pipe. Anyway, hit the block to the right with an egg and some platforms will flip. Or, you know, you can just hit, hit it like that. <laughs> That'll del do too. The objective here, well, that's not it. Bandit, by the way. Bandits will take your baby. So be careful with that. Don't don't, don't even let them do that. The objective here is to get onto this platform. So what we gotta do here is we make our way over there and find a red switch, not a green switch. Well, we did find a question mark. Oh, I just got them as they are falling off from the sky, or falling off from the sky. Um, just wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything over in these parts. Okay, so there's our red switch. <laughs> Now we go back down and around here, and this is why you want to... Was that the last red coin? Oh, it just sounded like I got the last red coin, because it, it sounded like it had a weird jingle there. But anyway, I'm at 18, and this contains... A key! A key! <laughs> yep, a key. And then what you're supposed to use that for... Um, you're normally supposed to use those blocks to get over here, but then you see that there's this vase here, and then you're like, oh, well how do I get over here? And also, you're supposed to hit that block from the other side so that you don't hit your head on those, the, the spiky underside of that block, but anyway. Um, flower there. I think the last couple of red coins are around here. Ah, uh, yep, they were. <laughs> and that just leads back to the beginning where that flower was, but I don't need to use that because I already took that pathway before. I just gotta be careful not to bump my head into any of the spiky block undersides. 
Oh, arrow lifts. See this? See this thing? You can grab it with your tongue and move it around. And when you step on it, it'll move in the direction that it's that you started stepping on it at. And it'll change in the exact opposite deflected direction when it hits a wall or something like that. This is like your practice area with arrow lifts, I guess you could say, of sorts. So let's just go ahead and... Uh, I mean, I got all the coins, so I guess I don't really need to get all technical about getting all the coins, but just, just give yourself some practice with these arrow lifts and have fun with it. <laughs> Alright, so, as for the boss, if you take a hit on it, you're probably gonna wanna restart, just jump in the lava. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Because yeah, if you take a hit from the boss, well I should say, not the boss itself, it's from the boss's body parts, we'll just call it that. Um, You'll take a hit, and then if you if the timer goes down too quick before you catch Baby Mario, you're gonna have to restart the level anyway. So, yeah. So there's Salvo the Slime. Hey, Kamek. <laughs> hey there, cute little Yoshi. Does Baby Mario want to go to Bowser's castle? No, I I don't think so. We've kind of been you know avoiding that this whole time, and Baby Mario cries whenever that happens. So you should really listen to the baby. I'll take him there in a hurry. <laughs> And sure enough, Kamek is going to be transforming the boss with the power of rainbows. And it looks big, it looks dangerous, but its big body is completely harmless in on itself. It just kind of, yeah, it just, it just bounces you around. The things that fall from the ceiling though, as well as, oh shoot, as well as the stuff that come from its body. Yeah, when you shoot it, see it, it pops out these little slimes from its body. And yeah, since I already took a hit. I can't really, I can't really go on with this run here. <laughs> so that, that's what I mean about the boss being the only dicey part of this. But luckily, there's a middle ring right before the boss, so you can do this as many times as you need to master your stuff. Just as long as you've got all these filled up, you'll be able to give yourself all the mastery you need to defeat Selvo the Slime just by redoing this as many times as you need. Alright, so this time, this time it's for realsies. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you should fail on a boss, or, you know, suicide like I did for the sake of 100%, Kamek will not give his dialogue again. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. You just kind of speed things along. It's like, they know, they know you're here for the boss fight. Let's just not even beat around the bush. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So, now, as you can tell, the objective is to get him when he's away from you, and not when he's close to you, because otherwise you're going to get slime bombarded by these guys here. And when it does that little wiggly thing, did you see it do that wiggly thing? Um, when it does that, you can't hit it with an egg, it'll deflect your shots. Watch us. Oh, no, didn't do it. <laughs> Come on, do your wiggles. Do your oh, dude, don't, don't, do your wiggles. There, see, it didn't, it had no effect on it, and the smaller it gets, the harder it is to hit him, because, yeah, you gotta do as- Oh, well, I beat him. <laughs> because you gotta do as much damage to him with one egg as possible per hit, I should say per throw, to make it as easy as possible, which includes deflections, so try and get them as horizontal as possible, you know, as it kind of skims along the ground and stuff like that. And then Baby Mario gets a key, and it opens a humongous door in the shape of a key lock. Hole, I should say. Woo! 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 All the first eight levels have been 100%ed, which means... Well, actually, you just need 800 points, I believe. Which means extra one is now open, just like the SNES game. The bonus levels are exclusive to the GBA game, by the way. So, yeah, the... this... Oh, oh they're gonna take me over... Oh yeah, this little cutscene happens after you beat a boss. I'm just so used to trying 100% levels after beating the game that I forget they're here. <laughs> Woo! That flag is massive. 
All right, but no, 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 we're not, we're not going to World Two just yet. We're going back to World One here because we've got extra one and bonus one to do here. And if you want to switch worlds from over here, you just go over to the tab like that, and this, that's World Two. This is World One, World Two, World One. Yeah, I think what I'll probably do first is bonus one. Probably, maybe, might be. I'm not sure about that. But I guess we will see. I know what extra one is, that's for sure, but I kind of forgot what bonus one is. We'll see. We'll see. So I hope you enjoyed, and see you next part.